Developments in the case of embattled pediatric dentist Dr. Howard S. Schneider. He's the Jacksonville dentist who came under intense scrutiny over accusations he abused children who were his patients. Dr. Schneider was eventually charged with a number of counts of Medicaid fraud. And now there are questions about whether or not he will be mentally competent to stand trial. He did appear in court today, and Channel 4's Scott Johnson joins us downtown with the latest. Scott. Bruce, both sides in this case hired medical experts to determine whether or not Dr. Schneider would be mentally competent to stand trial in here. Well, the attorneys came to Judge Angela Cox's, Cox's courtroom today with uh, medical experts who disagreed, so they wanted to discuss this. Dr. Schneider is not present because Judge Cox told him at his arraignment he does not need to be present at any more pretrial hearings. Today, the two sides agree they will now hire a third medical expert, this time a neuropsychiatrist out of Lake City. That person will essentially be the deciding factor in whether Dr. Schneider is deemed competent to stay in trial. This could be an issue in the multiple civil lawsuits filed against Dr. Schneider if he's deemed incompetent. I spoke with the attorney representing dozens of patients who say they are watching this closely and wondering if Dr. Schneider has mental health issues, possibly uh, Alzheimer's, and how long he had it, if he had it while he was still practicing as a dentist. This, of course, was uh, the criminal case today, separate from those civil hearings. And now, the criminal case still needs to go forward. They will have, uh, hopefully, a decision on whether or not he's mentally competent at their next hearing, which is slated for June 28th. We're live downtown to the courthouse. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.